Hello guys, welcome to Dent Ladder. So in today's video we are going to talk about the anatomy of maxillary central incisor. We will talk about it from different aspects like labial, mesial and distal aspects, lingual or palatal aspect and the incisal aspects. Okay? So let's begin the video. So we have an extracted tooth here. This is extracted maxillary central incisor. Since this is natural tooth, so its incisal ridge and incisal angle are treated due to prolonged functioning. So I can't say of exactly which side it is, whether right or left. But let us suppose that, that this is right maxillary central incisor. Okay. So if this is right maxillary central incisor, this surface will be the mesial surface. This will be distal. This is the incisal ridge. This surface will be the labial surface, which is facing towards the lip side and the opposite surface, which is the one facing towards the tongue or the uh, palate is called palatal surface or the lingual surface. Okay. So we have five surfaces, uh, mesial, distal, labial, ling lingual and the incisal ridge. This is a linear structure. This is not actually a surface but a linear structure okay you can see in human skull uh, we know that this is the suture which is called sagittal suture here it is coronal suture so the imaginary plane passing through the sagittal suture it determines the midline of the human facial skeleton so if this is the midline the surface of the tooth facing towards the Midline is called mesial surface and that on the opposite side is called the distal surface. The, surf the side or the surface which is facing the opposite tooth is called incisal ridge. This surface which is towards the, if, if suppose there is labial mucosa, so the surface facing towards the lip is called labial surface and opposite the inward side that means here is called lingual surface. Okay, so we will talk about the anatomy from all this aspect. Okay, talking about the dimension of the tooth. So, uh, the dimension given in book is based on the average value. Uh, the nat this natural tooth may differ in the dimension. According to book, is, uh, the crown length is 10.5 mm, root length is 13 mm. Okay, the mesio distal diameter mesial distal diameter is i told you if this is mesial surface this is distal surface so the this this diameter is called mesial distal diameter at the incisal edge is 8.5 mm towards the cervix is 7 mm okay so you must remember these dimension okay now talking about the anatomy this i told you this is the labial aspect so if, if we talk about the crown you can see the geometry of the crown is trapezoidal. Tra uh, if I draw the geometry like this, so the crown is something like this, and we know that trapezoid is like this. So you can see that the crown, crown of maxillary central incisor, is trapezoidal in geometry with the shorter side towards the cervical portion uh, towards the cervix and the longer side is towards the incisal surface or the incisal ridge okay now if we can divide the tooth uh, or the crown of the tooth into three half the one uh, the one third portion towards the incisal aspect is called incisal third the one third portion towards the cervical area or the cervical side is called cervical third and in in the middle it is middle third portion of the crown uh, the cervical third of the crown is curved when we see from when we look at the crown from labial aspect so it is curved in the cervical third but it is flat in the middle and incisal third you can see can you appreciate this this is flat in this area and curved in this portion okay uh, also, uh, we know that this angle is known as the uh, if this if this surface is distal distal incisal angle, and this angle is mesial incisal angle. 
the mesoincisal angle of the maxillary central incisor is sharper in comparison to the gistoincisal angle although this is not very clear in this tooth as i told you that this is attrited okay one more feature is the cervical line the cervical line is convex towards the root you can see it is convex towards the root now there is a characteristic feature of maxillary central incisor which is the presence of mammalions uh, what are mammalions we know that all the tooth develops from developmental lobes so in max similarly maxillary central incisor develops from three lobes so the extension of the lobe is seen as protuberances like this in young tooth young permanent maxillary central incisor which is known as mammalons mammalons so these are mammalons which are the extension of developmental lobes as the maxillary central incisor is formed from three three developmental lobes there may be seen some developmental lines between adjacent lobes of maxillary central incisor these mammalons are not seen in adult tooth because due to prolonged functioning these gets obliterated okay see this tooth is not of young person so mammalons cannot be seen while the incisal ridge is straight or linear in structure so from lingual aspect we can say that the tooth is convex here and concave here okay the convex portion is in the cervical third area which is called the cingulum and the middle third and incisal third area is convex which gives the tooth a scoop like see spoon or a scoop like structure this concavity is called the lingual fossa and convexity is called the cingulum the boundaries of lingual fossa are if this is the distal surface this is the mesial surface so this is called distal marginal ridge this is the mesial marginal ridge or uh, this is the incisal ridge and this is the cingulum area so these are the boundaries of lingual fossa some developmental grooves can also be seen although it is not clear in this tooth but some developmental grooves are also present which runs from cingulum towards the incisal area grooves are the shallow depression okay uh, also the crown when seen from this aspect it tapers lingually you can see see it is tapering from mesial aspect the crown is wedge shaped or triangular in geometry you can see it is wedge shaped similarly from distal aspect only the difference is the sir the cervical line is more convex at the incisal uh, sorry at mesial aspect than at distal aspect see this uh, line is convex towards the crown at mesial and distal aspect and uh, and it is concave towards the crown from labial aspect okay now last we will talk from the incisal aspect you can see if we talk about the geometry from incisal aspect it is triangular with the base towards the labial side apex towards the lingual side and these are the two sides of triangle uh, sides of triangle as i told you that this is the mesoincisal angle and this is distoincisal angle uh, the mesoincisal angle is comparatively sharper than the distoincisal angle also uh, the line if we draw a line from mesoincisal angle to to the cingulum and distal incisal angle to the cingulum area the line uh, from mesoincisal angle to the cingulum is longer than that from distal incisal angle to the cingulum area so this was all about the to maxillary central incisor uh, crown part and root there is nothing much to tell in root as i told you the dimension is 13 mm it is conical in shape and if we take a cross section of the root it is triangular in shape it has blunt apex the apex is not sharp it is blunt okay that's it so it was all about maxillary central incisor hope you like the video please support my work by sharing my videos and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you bye bye